In this tutorial, we'll show you how to add some light sources in our level. We will continue from our previous tutorial and use the one-room map that we created. First, we'll add two pillars in our level to demonstrate the lighting effects in Quake. We right-click and add an eight-sided rectangular prism. We can move the brush to the forward right section of our room. We can assign a different texture to this pillar so it can be better distinguished from the room. We select the new texture. This time we use city2 underscore free. We right click and select the apply command. Now we want to make another pillar and place it on the left side of the room. We do this by using the copy and paste command. First we copy the selected brush into the clipboard by pressing the copy button. Then we press the paste button to add the new brush. We can move it to the opposite side of the room. We add the light sources to our level by adding light entities. There are many different types and styles of light entities in Quake. Some will be shown as torches and flames that you can actually see in Quake. But most will be just invisible light sources casting light to the surrounding walls. In this example, we'll be adding two invisible light sources in front of the two pillars. We right mouse click inside the window, go to add entity, down to light, then select light. This adds a model of a light bulb into our map. We move it in front of the first pillar and two third ways up from the floor. Make sure the light doesn't get embedded inside the solid pillar, otherwise we won't be able to see it. Now we replicate the light and place it in front of the other pillar. Let us quickly preview the map before we compile it. Go to Render and select Texture. We zoom our eye position in and rotate our view around. If we're happy with this room, let's move on. To compile our map, we go to File Export BSP. Since we've added some lighting information this time, we want to use the program light.exe. Make sure the path to light.exe is correct. We check the option Run Light and click on the Go button to compile and look at our map in Quake.